Welcome to our comparison video on switching from 265 75ths R16 to 245 75 R16. The diameter difference between these tire sizes is 3.7%, which exceeds the acceptable 3% range. Therefore, this interchange is not recommended. However, if you still want to switch, adaptations may be necessary to prevent issues such as rubbing or clearance problems. The decrease in diameter by 1.18 inches when switching to 245 75 will lower the vehicle's ground clearance. This reduction could make it easier for the vehicle to scrape or be damaged on obstacles or rough roads, though the difference is relatively small. Switching to 245 75 decreases the width by 0.79 inches. This narrower width could potentially reduce traction and stability, particularly in off-road conditions, but might also offer better fuel efficiency due to the smaller contact patch. Switching to 245 75ths decreases the sidewall height by 0.59 inches. A shorter sidewall height may slightly reduce impact absorption, affecting ride comfort on rough terrains but can enhance handling and response on paved roads. With the smaller 245 75ths tires, the speedometer will read slightly higher than the actual speed. For example, at a speedometer reading of 20 miles per hour, the actual speed will be 19.25 miles per hour. Based on our observation, switching from 265 75 to 245 75 offers both benefits and shortcomings. The smaller size can improve fuel efficiency and on-road handling due to reduced weight and better aerodynamics. However, it compromises off-road performance by lowering ground clearance and reducing traction. The differences are relatively minor but noticeable, especially in demanding off-road scenarios. Overall, the impact on daily driving may be negligible, but off-road enthusiasts might prefer the original size for its enhanced stability and ground clearance.